Visitors to Yellowstone ran for their lives last month, after an erupting geyser launched a boiling plume of scalding hot water and rocks 600 feet into the air. But, while geologists regard this July 23rd biscuit ball and explosion as a normal event, the incident has sparked renewed fears about Yellowstone's buried supervolcano awakening from its 600,000-year slumber. Michael Poland, scientist in charge at the Yellowstone Volcano Observatory, told DailyMail.com that even parts of surrounding states would be in bad shape if the park's 43 by 28 mile wide caldera were to blanket the sky in volcanic ash. Although the Yellowstone caldera's initial blast would kill thousands in a super eruption, showering multiple U.S. states in pyroclastic flows of high-speed lava, rock and hot gas, Poland said the event would not spell the end of the human race. The Yellowstone caldera, Spanish for cooking pot, is defined as a supervolcano due to its historic capacity for eruptions that can spew more than 240 cubic miles of volcanic material out from its location seven miles below the park's surface. This supervolcano's subterranean magma chamber, a reservoir of partially melted basaltic rock, had its last explosion roughly 630,000 years ago, geologists estimate. Some have suggested that the odds of a Yellowstone super eruption in any given year today are 700,000 to 1. So what would happen if Yellowstone erupted now? Two scenarios have been considered. In the first, if the supervolcano erupted in one big bang, some have suggested that the explosion could be equivalent to 875,000 megatons of TNT, million tons. To put this in context, the largest nuclear bomb ever detonated, the Soviet Tsar Bomba, was 50 megatons, just a few thousandths of a percent of that power, and yet the Bomba was reported to have broken windows hundreds of miles away. Thousands would die in pressure waves from a Big Bang eruption of the caldera and it could cover much of the North American continent in up to a foot of ash.